Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time to stop by, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Remember, turn on the notification bell too, so that you're notified each and every time any new video is coming up. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. And I always, always, always appreciate all of you. And I don't take you for granted. Thank you so much for great, great support. And so, guys, without wasting any time, coming up in this video, let's go straight into this video. And I'm going to be catching you at the end of the video. Are French people, do French people hate the rednecks? Do the French people hate the rednecks? Let's go straight and let's roll straight into this video. And I'll catch you at the end of it with my comments. Really calm response that I get from French people when I talk about the disdain for redheads that seems to be common in a lot of areas in France is like this disbelief that other countries like redheads, that it could be, a I've had this like with in real life conversations where I'm like, oh, I'm always surprised at how like, how much disdain or like, like how looked down upon redheads are in France. And every single time there will somebody who will be like, I don't think it's only in France. Like, <laughs> or like this one's saying, I don't think it's, um, that that happens more often in France than elsewhere. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. Like, there's some light teasing in the U.S. towards redheads and like there's some like old maybe a couple like old superstitions that people don't really hold to but it is like relatively common in the U.S. to even like it, so for example in the U.S. when I told my girlfriends I would love to have a redheaded baby oh, redheaded babies are the cutest everyone was like yeah they are like oh maybe redheads weren't their thing but like oh I don't know if I'd want a redhead but like it's fine in France when I would say like I would love to have a redheaded baby someday people looked at me like I had three heads and they were like, why? I literally had a woman go, why would you do that to your child? Why would you want that for them? And I was like, because it's beautiful. And they're like, but I, it was a big, it's a, it's a thing. It is a whole thing. And there's a lot of like, it's getting better though. Especially I was reading the comments. People are like, it's starting to get better with like younger generations. So it is definitely more of like a French boomer thing. But even with the younger generation still, it's if you were to tell somebody, like go around and tell a hundred different French people, like you really wanted to have a redheaded baby and just, just randomly like, work into conversation, there would be m almost exclusively genuine shock that you would want that for your child. <laughs> like, I promise it's not the same as in France elsewhere. I mean, there might be other countries that are similar, but like there are a lot of other countries where like it's not a big deal at all. You know what I mean? In my comments, people are always saying, Josh, you know so much about rednecks. You only know what they do. Bet you don't know what they wouldn't do. Y'all tried me, man. Five things a redneck would not do. And if they did it, they not a real redneck. Five. Number one, tolerate racism. Now, I am sick and tired of repeating myself, but I repeat myself one more time. A real redneck does not see color, they see culture. If you black, white, Mexican, Asian, Jamaican, whatever you are from Florida, they do not see color, they only see culture. If you are cultured in the redneck activities, that means you like outdoors, that means you can hunt a little bit, that means you can survive in the survival of the fittest. If an asteroid hit Earth, you can ride the asteroid, go on that asteroid, and find some things you can use to make your life easier once the asteroid hit Earth. When it comes to being a redneck, Redneck, rednecks don't see color. If you run into a redneck that says it's white over black, it's black over white, it's Spanish over everything else, that's not a true redneck. That's a racist person. Number one, rednecks don't stand for racism. Number two, rednecks don't like excuses. Now in life, sometimes there's a lot of reasons for things to happen. Maybe your car was out of gas so you couldn't go to work. Maybe you had no food in your house so you couldn't eat. Maybe that girl was too fine so you couldn't say no, I'm playing with you. But when it comes to being a redneck, no excuse. If your car's out of gas, you call for a ride. You can't call for a ride, you wake up earlier and you walk to work. You jog to work, you backpedal to work. You steal the neighbor's dog, hop on the neighbor's back and you ride the dog to work. You don't make excuses for not being able to do nothing. You make things happen. If there ain't no food in your house, you get your fishing pole and you go fish you ain't got a fishing pole you get a strain tied to a can throw it in the ocean wait till something bite you catch with your bare hand you skin it with your nails and you throw it on the fire the bonfire that you made outside because the sun burnt the grass and made a fire for you if you gonna be a redneck if you gonna love a redneck lifestyle if you gonna be around a bunch of rednecks make sure excuses are out the window the window to the wall number three 
a redneck don't know quit. Now, when it comes to giving up, I ain't saying you should give up, but I'm saying sometimes you should be able to say, you know what? I just can't win. Get in the fight with a redneck. Thank you, it's over. Thank you for won the fight. Hey, um, Jim Bob, he don't beat your eyeball out. It's okay. Hold my eyeball. I got another one. You got a another eyeball, Jim Bob? Your jaw missing. You ain't even talking. Somebody got their hand in your back. You a ventriloquist puppet right now. It's okay. Long as he can have his hand in my back and help me fight, I'm going to fight. Rednecks ain't going to quit. If you if you gonna shoot it out with a redneck, you gonna shoot. I mean, once he get out of bullets, he gonna pick up a rock, a stick, put a rubber band in it, and now he got a slingshot. Rednecks don't know quit. They don't know. They don't know quit. If you wanna have a good football team, make sure your linemen are big, thick rednecks. They gonna block to the death. Okay, the play's over. The play, play to the whistle blow. Okay, you you still blocking Jim Bob? Put that, that put him down, Jim Bob. Stop blocking Jim Bob. Number four, a redneck knows no shame. Why a lot of people out here scared to go to the beach and take their shirt off because they barely a little big or the women got a little cellulite, they don't feel right or they ain't got the right makeup. Nah, a redneck gonna feel beautiful and handsome and attractive no matter what they do. That's why they can put on jeans with the cut off shirts. That's why they can wear the hats they wear. That's why they can wear the skirts and the bathing suits and bikinis they wear. That's why they can go get mud and then go to an Olive Garden or a Carabas or a Fleming Steakhouse and walk in there and say, I want my steak medium well. I want my steak well. You gotta wipe his ass. I want it that real. But sir, you gotta have, I got on shirt and I got on shoes. What you want to do these are ostrich rednecks know no shame they are who they are Popeye the seller man his slogan was I am what I am that came from a redneck and number five rednecks don't age now wait wait before y'all say anything physically everybody age nobody has the secret to the fountain of youth unless you're a redneck when you think about rednecks I guarantee you the most famous rednecks the most well-known rednecks the most popular rednecks in any redneck community be the people that are up in age and that's because they are youthful they are young they still do stuff they still drink they still party they still bonfire they still mud and if they can't do it they make it so that everybody else around them can do it you can use my property you can use my field dig a mud pit in the middle run your truck in it just make sure you clean up after you leave have a good time be safe don't fight drink a little bit don't drive drunk sleep in your truck if you got to rednecks don't age rednecks are the secret to the fountain of youth redneck people will live forever because in their heart of hearts they forever young so don't you ever tell me i don't know what rednecks don't do it's your boy josh pray the blackest redneck on this earth earth is my turf and i'm roaming when i want to I want to know why 99% of rednecks and black folk get along. Because we're literally the same fucking people. Some of us just a little paler than others. You don't believe me? Here's some reasons why black people and rednecks are the same people. Number one, if you have our respect and we really fuck with you and you are really one of our close friends, ain't nobody better start no shit with you because they got problems with all of us. Number two, we mind our own fucking business. We got our own stupid shit day to day to deal with. We ain't trying to fuck with nobody else's stupid shit. Number three, we bad fucking picky about our food. Only certain people are allowed to bring certain things to family gatherings. And I got bad news. If you listen to this and you always get asked to bring the drinks and the forks and the plates and the spoons, you that motherfucker whose food is straight fucking trash. The kind of be fucking up macaroni and shit. And number four, we don't need much to party. A few bottles of liquor, maybe some cold beer, some loud music, and BAM! It's a this is a message for Americans and Canadians who have studied French. We speak real French in Quebec. If you don't think we speak real French in Quebec, I don't think you're ready to learn the truth about how you speak English. I have no problem with comparing Quebec French to redneck English, whatever exactly that means to you. I have no problem with the idea that Quebec French to people in France sounds a bit rural or archaic. Fair enough. That isn't the judgment I'm calling out. You said that in France they transformed it into something beautiful. And then your point of comparison was redneck English. Redneck English is a dialect that is legitimate the source of a lot of amazing art, poetry, and music, but one associated with a lower socioeconomic class. And that was the way that you described Quebec French as being less beautiful than France French by making a classist comparison and a value judgment. You did not just express an opinion, not a neutral opinion. You made a value judgment. And 
hey, remarkably effective, you were able to be bigoted towards huge swaths of the French and English-speaking worlds at the same time. I mean, there's an efficiency there that I applaud. But to pretend that it's a neutral opinion, and that it is not patently obvious classist bigotry, is nonsensical. Think about what you said. Think about why it was necessary to you to go on the internet and say stuff like that. Think about what that projects about you and your security and who you are. And maybe stop it. I want to know why 99% of rednecks and black folk get along. Because we're literally the same fucking people. Some of us just a little paler than others. You don't believe me? Here's some reasons why black people and rednecks are the same people. Number one, if you have our respect and we really fuck with you and you are really one of our close friends, ain't nobody better start no shit with you because they got problems with all of us. Number two, we mind our own fucking business. We got our own stupid shit day to day to deal with. We ain't trying to fuck with nobody else's stupid shit. Number three, we bad fucking picky about our food. Only certain people are allowed to bring certain things to family gatherings. And I got bad news. If you listen to this and you always get asked to bring the drinks and the forks and the plates and the spoons, you that motherfucker whose food is straight fucking trash. The kind of be fucking up macaroni and shit. And number four, we don't need much to party. A few bottles of liquor, maybe some cold beer, some loud music, and bam! It's a That's it, guys. Rednecks. First of all, about France and the rednecks. Actually, in France, it's like they really hate the rednecks. Even you've just heard it from this lady telling us, if you go to France and you try to say, try even to tell your friend, I want to have a child with a redneck, they like it's like they just look at you in a very weird way, which is suggesting that they really don't like and they really don't love the rednecks. On the other hand, you've seen that the black people and the rednecks they really work together. They really coerce together so well. The black people and the rednecks. First of all, the rednecks, they don't give up. The rednecks, they always mind their own business. The rednecks, it's like they do things together. They run their businesses together. They always mind their business. They've got things to do together. The black people and the rednecks, they cohabit so well. This is the reason why the rednecks really love the black people and the black people really love the rednecks. So guys, thank you so much. Let me know your take on this in the comment section. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, also share it out too. And I'm going to be catching you up for another dating reaction. Bye-bye.